Now to the assault on the Capitol with the latest. We have a first access to audio secretly recorded by one of the police officers who was injured. This comes from a meeting with Republican lawmakers after the attack and it's being released ahead of what could be the January 6th committee's last public hearing. CBS 4's Scott McFarland reports. Hailed as a hero, on January 6th, Officer Michael Fanone was beaten, tased, and wounded trying to stop the rioters. Now, in connection to a new book by Fanon, CBS News has been given the first access to a surreptitious audio recording he made during a June 2021 meeting between officers who responded January 6th and House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, who spoke about his actions at the Capitol that day. So I was trying to convey to everybody I know, because they're not inside of it, what is happening inside of um, And that's when I went on television, too. I said, the president, and I wanted to end it. The mother of Officer Brian Sicknick, who died of natural causes a day after the attack, was also in the meeting and asked McCarthy why then-President Trump didn't call off the mob. He knew what was going on. He knew they were fighting for hours and hours and hours. You know, I just... In another exchange, Fanon challenges McCarthy when the Republican leader urges against politicizing January 6th. I don't, I mean, unfortunately, listen, Kevin, I agree with you. The problem is it is political because it happened here on Capitol Hill and it involved a political movement. It involved a group of extremist white, right, right wing uh, element of our, you know, American society, which was mobilized by politicians. And that's just a fact. In a separate meeting with Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, Fanon described the assault officers faced. And Fanon writes Graham responded, you guys should have shot them all in the head. We have much work yet to do. Fanon's revelations come as the House January 6th Select Committee prepares to return to the spotlight this week following a summer of behind the scenes investigating and seeking more records from the U.S. Secret Service about missing January 6th text messages. We've received a huge amount of documents from the Secret Service and have learned some additional things. Uh, so we uh, plan to present uh, what we found out uh, working through this summer. I think it will shed some light on the events of the day and the events leading up to it. The January 6th Select Committee has just weeks remaining to finish its work and issue its final report. Neither Congressman McCarthy nor Senator Graham return requests for comment from CBS News about their conversations with Officer Fanon. Scott McFarland, CBS News, Washington.